dear brothers and sisters, let us greet one another. Sabihin po natin sa ating katabi, ako'y natutuwa dahil nandito ka. At ikay pinagpala. Palakpan po natin ang Panginoon. Prior to the celebration of the Holy Mass, we have witnessed a beautiful reenactment of the panunuluyan, the searching of an inn. And we'd like to thank our couples for Christ's family for a very beautiful reenactment. Palakpan po natin sila. Habang po tinutunghayan po natin ang panunuluyan, naaantig po ang ating damdamin dahil ang kwento ng panunuluyan ay hindi lamang kwento ni Maria, ni Jose, at ni Jesus, kundi kwento ng bawat Kristiyano. Ang panunuluyan ay isang paanyaya po sa atin na naghahanap si Jesus ng matutuluyan. At ito po ang paanyaya po sa ating gabi that as we celebrate today His birth, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we are preparing for His coming at the midnight, God searching for an inn and searching in everyone's heart. What a beautiful evening. What a holy night. What a silent and peaceful night. Where all families coming together to celebrate this great solemnity the feast, the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ang kwento po ng kapanganakan ni Jesus ay isang paanyaya sa atin na kailangan po nating balikan ang kwento ng unang salsaban. Na marahil napakalayo po at sa tuwing ating pinagdiriwang ang kapanganakan ni Jesus, maraming kamalayan at mga aral na nagpapaalala po sa atin ang kanyang kapanganakan. Ang kwento ng Pasko ay kwento ng isang pamilya. Ang kwento ng Pasko ay kwento ng kapayakan ng buhay. Ang kwento ng Pasko ay kwento ng pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Ang kwento ng Pasko ay kwento ng kapayapaan. At ang kwento ng Pasko ay kwento ng pagiging tao. Sa araw, sa siyam na araw na ating paghahanda at pagdarasal, sa siyam ng gabi at siyam na madaling araw, ay nat po natin pong natunghayan at napakinggan ang napakagandang kwento ng misteryo ng pagiging tao ni Jesus. It was a very beautiful story of the mystery of incarnation. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And this is no other than our Lord Jesus Christ. Iniisa-isa po natin detalye ang kwento ng pagiging tao ni Jesus. At ito po isang paanyaya po sa ating lahat na sa gabing ito, sa kanyang muling pagkasilang, sa paalala, pag-aalala sa kanyang pagkasilang muli, ay nagpapalala rin sa atin 
ang ating muling kapanganakan. The birth of Jesus was a birth of hope. The birth of Jesus was a birth of peace. The birth of Jesus was a birth of joy. And the birth of Jesus was a birth of love. Ang kapanganakan ni Jesus ay nagbubukas sa atin ng bagong kamalayan at ang napakalagang biyaya ipagkakalob niya sa atin ang biyaya ng pag-asa, biyaya ng kapayapaan, biyaya ng galak at pagmamahal at pag-ibig ng Diyos. Ang ang kwento po natin bilang isang parokya sa tuwing tayo po'y nagsisimba ng madaling araw, marahil hindi po natin pansinin, pero ginagabayan po tayo ng mga malalaking titik at may ilaw na ito po ang apat na linggo ng ating paghahanda at pagdarasal sa ating pagdiriwang ng muling kapanganakan ni Jesus. Ito po ang sinasabi po nating Fatima Christmas Trail Blessing that as we approach and we enter our parish compound leading us towards our Father Ted Basma Gymnasium, there are bold letters and highlighted with beautiful lights to tell us that the miracle of Christmas is about to unfold. And the great blessings of Christmas is about to be given to us in each home, in each family, in each individual. Dahil ang diwa ng Pasko ay nasa puso ng bawat Kristiyano. These four great blessings these four blessings, virtues, gifts, which are immaterial, in which we don't realize these are the most important that we receive tonight as we go home to respective families. I think this is the best gift that we can receive from our Lord Jesus Christ. Ang biyaya ng pag-asa ng Diyos na sa gitna ng lahat, gumagawa ng Diyos at gumagalaw ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Tayo nagtitiwala na balang araw, lahat ay maaayos at gumagawa ng Diyos ng paraan sa atin. Ang biyayan ng kapayapaan na ating tinatamasa ng bawat tanan, ng bawat pamilya, ng bawat komunidad. This is the peace that we ask God for, that we live coexistently, peacefully, harmoniously with one another. The gift of joy that there is always reason to be joyful and hopeful that amidst the pandemic and all what we have gone through for the past few months for this year, there is reason to be joyful and hopeful. And most especially, the very gift of tonight, the expression of the great love of God to us, is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Truly enough, our Lord reminding us in the gospel today that in his birth, it was the peace and goodwill pronounced by the angel when he said, Glory to God in the highest and earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. These are the great blessings na naway maghari ang kapayapaan at kabutihan ng Diyos sa bawat puso, sa bawat kristyano, sa bawat tanan, sa bawat komunidad.
And this is what we are praying tonight. That as we are being transformed, touched by this memorial and remembering the first Christmas, the first holy family, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are being reminded once again that may we have the blessings of peace and goodwill be upon us. Sana po, as we are being touched, enlightened by this feast of the Nativity of our Lord, let us look at the baby Jesus giving us the sense of hope, the sense of joy, the sense of peace, and the sense of love in which we truly desire and need in our day-to-day -day life. My dear brothers and sisters, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ is also the birth of a new person a new mind setting, a new perspective. Sana po, binabago tayo ng Diyos araw-araw, lalong-lalo na sa Kanyang kapanganakan. And I would like also to read with you a very beautiful message of our dear Bishop. Na alam po natin ang ating Bishop, isang milagro ang kanyang buhay, Isang kwento na patunay sa dakilang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin bilang isang diocese. Sa kasalukuyan, our dear Bishop is now traveling in just few hours at 11.25. Tonight, he will be touching down. The airplane will be touching down Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And I said to the bishop, Bishop, what a dramatic arrival. That I know when you get out from the airport, hindi pa po 12, it's going to be 12 past 12 midnight. And sabi po niya, it's okay. The bishop will be celebrating literally his Christmas at the airport. But our dear Bishop gave us a very beautiful message, this Midnight Mass. And allow me then to read with you his beautiful message for all of us. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather together as families and communities this Christmas, we have an opportunity to share the message of love and hope that is desperately needed during these difficult times. For that is what Christmas is all about. A bright light has shone amid darkness, uncertainties. Jesus, our Savior, is born among us and will continue to fill our hearts with love, hope, and peace. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged us, but the birth of Jesus Christ changed our lives forever. As we celebrate Christmas, we raise our thankful hearts to God for His unfathomable love that sustains us through trials and difficulties. We also thank Him for His guiding presence that led us to celebrate the Ruby Jubilee of our diocese last November 15, 2022. And as we move forward, I pray that with renewed hope and expectation, we will all glow in our commitment to serve and share God's love with others. May the birth of Jesus conquer all our fears, inspire us to become faithful stewards, working hand in hand to become beacons of light for others who continue to struggle in darkness. May the love that we share in our human relationships become a reflection of the love of God calling us to give of ourselves for others. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the pandemic is not yet over. There will still be a lot of challenges ahead of us, 
But we should not be discouraged, for I am certain that when we truly love and connect with each other and ask the powerful intercession of Mary and Joseph, our commitment and love for Jesus will be deepened and inspire us to dedicate our lives for the greater glory of God. I thank you all for your healing prayers for me. I assure you of my thoughts and prayers for you and your family. May the good Lord bless every one of us so that we may do our share in building his kingdom in the Diocese of Bayumbo. Merry Christmas and a blessed new year. Leticia Indomino, Jose Elmer I. Mangalinao Didi, Bishop of the Diocese of Bayumbo. And once again, my dear brothers and sisters, the letter of our dear bishop has affirmed us that the true sense and meaning of the celebration is a heart willing to welcome the birth of our Lord Jesus. Muli ang diwa ng Pasko ay nasa puso ng bawat Kristiyano. It may be too early to say, but let us say to one another, Merry Christmas. Palakpan po natin ang Panginoon Jesus.